Hello YouTube, my name is Sarah if you didn't know, and today's situation is going to be my monthly Lululemon haul. I just want to let anybody new know that I do work for Lululemon, but I do not speak on behalf of the company. Everything I say is my own opinion, and I've purchased all of these items with my own money, but obviously because I work there, I do get a discount. So with that being said, I know that I buy quite a bit of stuff, but it's not that much money at the end of the day. So with these hauls, I'm never encouraging you to go and spend a bunch of money. I'm trying to share my perspective on some of the clothing, sizing, all that type of stuff, and hopefully it's just informational or entertaining for some of you. So let's get right into the first item. So the first item I'm going to be talking about is the Energy Bra High Support. So this is what it looks like, a little bit extra coverage, back is all strappy, and it has a three hook closure. If you've been shopping at Lululemon or aware of the company for a while, or even if you're new and you've only tried on sports bras, you're probably fully aware of the Energy Bra. That is a staple bra that's been around basically since day one. The problem is it doesn't support larger chest sizes. So this one was made in a B cup up to a triple D cup. And I'm a triple D cup, so I wanted to try this out. I got it in a size 32 triple D, which is my measurements last time that I measured. And this is actually a little bit tighter than I would hope it to be. I think maybe getting a 34 might have helped, but there's no larger cup size, so I don't honestly know. I want to do a new updated sports bra video. I do have one that I filmed a while ago, which I'll link in the description down below or in the cards here. But I want to do an updated because there's been lots of new bra releases. But I would say that this one, to me, fits a little bit on the smaller side. And it is hard to get over your head because you do have to go through the straps at the top here. There's obviously no way to disconnect all these straps. So if you do have mobility issues in your shoulders or back or neck, I wouldn't suggest this bra, unfortunately, even though the idea behind it is good. So the price of this bra is $64. This specific color went on sale. This bra is designed for running. Again, it is high support. It's pretty compressive, so I wouldn't wear this every day because I would be uncomfortable. It would start to dig into my back, and it's just too much compression for just a regular day. It is four-way stretch, sweat wicking, quick drying material, and it has a couple areas of breathability, which is always nice in a high support sports bra. So with that, I definitely don't think this is a bad bra by any means, but I would highly suggest you try this on in store or order multiple sizes that you can then return because I'm not confident with the sizing of this as much as I am with a couple other bras. So there's that guy. Staying in the realm of tops, the first actual top slash long sleeve I got is a Swiftly Tech in the race length. This is the long sleeve 2.0 and it is in the color Smoke Spruce because I absolutely am in love with this color. I own it in a couple other things, obviously you know that if you've seen my previous videos. But I used to never wear green because I thought I literally looked like a tree. So I was always uncomfortable wearing green but I just love this green so I couldn't pass this up. Again this is in the race length so it's shorter because I have a short torso. It does have that silver essence technology that inhibits the growth of odor causing bacteria. Therefore if you work out in the shirt it doesn't smell as bad, it dries really quickly so you can get a couple wears with less washes out of the shirt which is always great. Original price of these guys is 78 and it went on sale for 54 so overall I really do like these shirts. I never used to but with race length and kind of Expanding my horizon, I've started to quite like these. I got it in a size 10. The sleeve has little thumb cups, which is always nice. Keeps your hands covered if you're running. And again, yeah, this would be considered a run top in the world of Lululemon. So if you never tried a Swiftly Tech, I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> but I would definitely try it out. They have short sleeves, tank tops, cropped lengths, longer lengths, lots of variety and lots of really vibrant colors. So big fan. The next thing is the Ever Ready Long Sleeve, which I got in just a white. This is such a classic plain white long sleeve and I thought it would go with a lot of stuff. I recently got rid of a lot of my white Lululemon because it's just stained from being white over time. I got this guy in a size 6. It is made of the Pima cotton, so just like a basic cotton t-shirt, soft. It's actually not as see-through as it looks. When I'm holding it up, I feel like it looks a lot more see-through than when it's actually on, which is obviously great. The original price of this guy is 58 and it went on sale for 39 so I've been seeing these guys going on sale a lot in different colors, so if you do want to try this out, just a basic long sleeve, I have no issues with this. Moving on to bottoms, first two things I'm going to be showing are shorts. 
So, this is the first pair of shorts. They are the At Ease Shorts 7 inch inseam. This is the men's pair of shorts, which I wear men's clothing all the time. I like to say that pretty often. Always make sure to check out the men's section because there's lots of universal items that work for all sexes and genders and I feel the same way from the male clothing to the female clothing so make sure to check it out because lots of great stuff in there. These are just cute sweatpants shorts that I'm going to be wearing around the house all the time because they're super comfortable and they're a gorgeous pink color. I could not pass that up. They are in heathered pink mist slash white and they do have a drawstring on the front, a zipper pocket on the inside which is always nice and then just regular pockets this is in a size medium which i think fit me quite well and again i'm just going to be using these for lounging and hanging out so i really like these and i think the logo's cute on the men's stuff that it's black the original price of these are 78 dollars and i believe this one on sale for like 54 as well something like that but stuff in the addies line always goes on sale so if you like this kind of like textured looking print definitely check out the men's section wait for a color you like to go on sale or try it on in store and see if you love it because I do quite like this stuff. I have a sweater in this print as well and I'm a big fan. The next item is the All Yours High Rise Shorts in 7 inch inseam. That would be these guys. So again, very similar, just lounge shorts. I've been really into shorts, which I guess it's summer so not that weird, but I used to never wear shorts when I was younger, so it's a really nice change that I feel comfortable enough in my body to now wear them. So I have been buying quite a few of them this past year or so. These are just the sweatpants style shorts, has a drawstring, regular pockets, and I think that the back seam is really flattering because it's curved. This is made out of the cotton terry fabric, so it's just a very comfortable, soft material, but not soft to the point where it's going to fall apart when you're washing, which is what I really appreciate. They are a high-rise fit. These are originally $74, and I got it in a size 8. These are in the Heathered Core Medium Gray, so lots of words to say medium gray. The last two things I got this month are two pairs of leggings. The first pair I am beyond excited to talk about because it is the craziest thing that these were even in my store. They are the in-movement tights. This is what these look like. If you've never heard of in-movement tights, these are tights that were discontinued about two years ago, and sometimes they'll pop in and out, but I haven't seen them since last Christmas. So this is gorgeous color. I don't know what the color is, but the color code is LSBC. I don't know how to guess that, but this is like a gently, almost like tie-dye wash, kind of blue-green pant absolutely gorgeous. These are in the Everlux material, so they're great for working out, quick drying, sweat wicking, and if you want to try this material out, it's also in the Invigorate and the Wonder Train. So the Invigorate is basically like the upgraded version of the In Movements, but they just have pockets, so these do not have a pocket, just has the waistband one in the back, which honestly I never really use these, but overall these were some of my favorite tights, so I'm so excited that I got a brand new pair so randomly. I got these in a size 6. I love the seaming on the back. That's what I think is super flattering and I actually really like the leg seaming as well on the back here. I think again that just makes your calves look really nice. These are going to be difficult to find but I've seen them on like Poshmark and places reseller sites like that but in store not so much anymore. And the last pair of tights I got are the Swift Speed Crops in a size 8 in an inseam of 21. So this is the gorgeous pattern that these are and that's really what drew me in is that these one went on sale and I think the pattern is really pretty. I don't think everyone's going to like this pattern which is totally fair but I do so I had to go ahead and grab this one. So these are made of the luxury material. These are really great for working out. They have a zippered pocket in the back of the pant which is great to hold things securely. They have pockets on the side of the leg which is great for putting your phone, holding things and the crop version on me is almost like a full length because I'm very short, I have short legs. So 21 inseam is not too bad for me. It has the really nice butt seam. You can't see it as well in this print, but overall I think these are very flattering tights. They're definitely a compressive tight, so if you have to size up in this, don't feel bad because I do. In Luxstream, I generally do go up a size because it's just very tight over my thighs and my bum, so that's why I size up. 
I also think it's really nice that they have reflective dots. It's kind of hard to see, but on a more solid color, obviously you'd be able to see it better and in the dark. And the last thing that I really like about these is that they don't have an inseam in the thighs. So when you're running or doing anything that has a lot of friction on the inside of your leg, you're not gonna feel that inseam at all as you're running or moving, which is really great. The pattern is, I don't think it's see-through, but I guess you be the judge of that, but I don't have any problems. I always just wear neutral underwear with my leggings anyway. That's these tights. These are high-waisted as well, which they have a drawstring. So again, these will relax a little bit as you're working out, but you can use the drawstring to keep it tight. So that is everything I got this month, and as I said kind of at the start, I want to do an updated bra video. So if there's any bras at Lululemon that you want to make sure in that video, comment down below, and I will collect the necessary goods and add those into the video. Otherwise, I hope you guys enjoyed this month. Let me know what your favorite item is that you got, or that I got, or anything that you want to try. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye.